That's legit. That's legit. Okay, where are we? Is the name of this place? Mama Wanis? No, Mama, Mama, Tijuana. 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 She still needs to figure out what she needs to order, but it's uh, I gotta tap into these bad boys. This is the first time I've ever seen something like this. How often are you fishing for bass and you have crabs? I mean, I think if you're from Louisiana, this is not that uncommon, but. Look at this dude. Crazy. All right, guys, good morning. Day one, official practice here out on the Spine. It's kind of poking around a little bit. Decided to go up river today. And uh, just look around, trying to get in a flow. Interesting creatures out here. Crabs. It's wild. All right, hopefully we can put something together. place is so sketchy. There's sticks and lay downs and all kinds of stuff everywhere. I've already hit five stumps already running unfortunately but knock on wood my prop looks okay. I don't know what my skeg's gonna look like so we're gonna have to take a look at that skeg after today but uh, plenty of wildlife plenty of stumps. Sabine River, no joke, man. I came up through here with my trolling motor because I uh, hit about a few, I don't know, a handful of stumps getting in. So trimmed up, jack plate at 100% and uh, just kind of easing my way back out. I don't think I'm going to be up here. I just, I don't have the right I don't think I have the right uh, equipment to be up here. Like Keith Poche or maybe Summerall or something who can squeeze in here with an aluminum boat, but I don't want to tear my boat up before I uh, head up north. That would be really unfortunate. And I've already scared myself a few times today. So still that one eight inch bass and that's all I've had all day. Um, and uh, yeah, so. I'm gonna head back down river, fish some of the main river stuff. Looks where I got that bite, and then just kind of elaborate off of that because, uh, yeah, this is a game that I, I, I don't think it's my my game to play up here. So I'm gonna go and try and fish some stuff that I feel a little bit more confident. In. And if anything, I was able to eliminate water today. So I just gotta just take it uh, one step at a time, and uh, hopefully we can get into some more fish. I mean, like, prime example, like, look at this. Look how sketchy this little dealio is. Oh, God. Oh, just barely squeezed through that. Need to get around all this stuff right here. Oh boy. All right, I gotta go, gotta focus. Bye-bye.
All right, moment of truth. See how bad I jacked my skeg up. Come on, please. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but shark bite will do. I'm glad I still got a majority of it. I hit it pretty darn hard a couple times, so. Let's check. Prop seems straight. Sweet. Well, is what it is. You gotta treat it like a tool. look like a mess because I've been swatting away a bunch of flies and the flies that are down here like to bite <sighs> well um, day three of practice and uh, my best day yet um, caught a two and a quarter pounder early along with four other keepers and then I uh, went back into uh, not a backwater as backwatery as this but another one and managed to get, I don't know, over 15 bites and another four keepers with uh, another two pounder. So I think that's probably where I'm gonna spend a majority of my tournament. But it's uh, cool that I at least found at least an area that, that has a good amount of fish. I'm looking down, because there's a bunch of, bunch of branches and stuff in the way. And trains. But just wanted to give you guys a little update back in the bayou pray for no snakes so far so good i don't want to jinx myself Ooh. no gators back here which is a good thing all right i think that's uh gonna be it for practice hopefully those fish stick around and grow a little bit and uh man i just hope for a limit it's been so tough just to get bit one and then to catch a fish over 12 inches you'd think it'd be easy but this place redefines difficult it's actually tougher than lay <laughs> i didn't think so i didn't think it was going to be the case but it really is and a lot of people are struggling as well all right we'll see you back at the house what we have here What'd you make? Steak quesadillas. Steak quesadillas. And a modello. Thanks for cooking. Mm-hmm. Dinner time. Wanna remind our anglers, boats in the water, make sure to make room. Good morning guys, we're here at Sabine River. We got day one, Bassmaster Elite, stop number six, five? I don't know, either way. We're here, beautiful Orange, Texas. Sun's coming up, hopefully the fish bite. But either way, we're gonna go out there and give it all we can. Uh, either way, ride along with me and let's go catch some fish. Three thirty. Regionals and all that stuff. 
Hey, if you make regionals, you're fishing it. Yeah. Uh, you fish Bass Nation? I do. Awesome, dude. Oh, you're a keeper. Oh yeah, you're. Let me get in here. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. Oh, oh this one. I despise this one. No hook holes that I cut you yesterday. Go pound. Yeah. Still one. I'm gonna err on the side of light. <gasps> Number one. Uh. Oh. <laughs> that was a little guy, I think. I'm just I just say the I, I just say it's a little guy every time I miss a fish. Oh maybe. We'll see. Oh yeah. I caught this one yesterday. Dang. 15 inch. Let's go. It says one. Point one two, but it's not in ounces. There you go, get in, get in there with your buddy. Numero dos. I think that one will go. I think so. I hope it goes a pound. <laughs> it literally says 0.99. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Calm down. Like nab a limit and maybe call like bluegill. Um, get like all of them at least to be like a, a, a pound something, you know? And then I'm. Um, try to have a five and a half pound little. That one feels good. There we go. That's more than a pound. It's a pound and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Giant. Giant. Pound and a quarter. Rats. Chill, Buster Brown. Do you well, stay with anybody or you travel by yourself? Well, speaking of, I was just going to shout out uh, okay. Mark Frazier for uh, giving me a little tip on the buzz bait. That and Johnny Pebs, because Pebs told me he got a couple on, on the buzz bait, so thanks guys. Number four. So many freaking snakes here, dude. Yesterday I saw like a four foot water snake just like perched up on a branch, like on a branch. I'm like, oh boy. At least it's a water snake, not like a water moccasin or cotton mouth. Me neither. Some people are like, dude, I love snakes. I'm like, well, you're a spawn of Satan. Yeah, you're, you're not a sane person. You need to go get analyzed by a doctor. I caught my first snake the other day. Not for fun. I wanted to get it away from my buddy's house. Well, my, my buddy was away at work. His wife was there. She's like, oh my God. It was eating a toad that we named Todd the night before. 
I'm like, Todd, no, no, Todd. It was like a 45 minute long process. And I was like, all right. My buddy was like, I'll bring a snake hook over. I'm like, it's okay. He has a hockey stick. It was a four foot water, water snake. I grew up in Hawaii, bro. We don't have any snakes. So I'm just like, all of it's snakes a snake to me. Sucks, he just torched the whole side that I wanted to fish. Let it spinner bait. Let it rest. Now I'll go through, I'll probably flip it. That's a keeper. All dippy. 13 incher. Oh, sweet. Well, that was goal number one. Get five is... Get, get, getting five on this body of water is not an easy thing to do. But that is a limit, folks. Yeah. <sighs> All right, give me some. <sighs> okay. Water's dropped out. Four inches. There we go. Yeah. I was like, whoa, that looks like a bass. Well, I hope it'll measure, but he's flat. Twelve. Yep, twelve all day. Let's see if he beats anybody. Number three. Oh yeah. Alright, number three, you're gone. <laughs> Major call. <laughs> Major college. See, that's how they've been eating it, dude. Like, right at the boat. That meme where it's like the photo of that 10 pounder you lost and it's a cypress needle. Yeah. That was for sure that. And of course, you go straight to the upholstery. Got a keeper out of this tree earlier, so hopefully we'll let it rest and we'll come back and we'll flip it again. Oh man, that sucks. There's another pound, pound and a half, or maybe. <laughs> it's like ha da da ha da 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 da. That was you, little one. Oh, red eyes, look at that thing. So cool. Bunch of warm mouth just shredding up my baits. It's okay, we'll come across Larry soon.
See, I know there's like a bunch of good ones off of this little thing. I thought it was like a, a lot better one. 11 inches, watch. Not gonna help. J -j -j giant <laughs> That was almost a keeper a keeper crappie. I got. Yeah. That was sick. As soon as it landed, it just got smoked. Dude, I just sent a fish to the moon, bro. That's straight up yeet. Poor little guy. <laughs> that was still exciting though. Another short. It's so frustrating. All I want to do is just catch a keeper. As soon as you get bit, you're all excited because you got bit. Nope, it's 11 incher. The worst, the ones that are like just th barely there. Oh boy. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Man, that looks really good. Dude. <laughs> that looks like it might have been a plus. The way it, that log ate it. <laughs> it did, dude. It was moving out to the deep and everything. Yeah, the lime's like moving, dude, for sure. This like, I haven't felt a head shake yet, but it's about to jump. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna be funny. Embarrassing. And for those of you guys who are watching that are like, eh, I'd never do something that stupid. Just you wait. <laughs> it will happen. If you fish, it is inevitable. Inevitable. Undercut bank. Anywhere else in the country that would be sitting there. Not down here in Orange, Texas. Be a flounder down there. Oh, you want a bass? All right, here's a bass. Here's a 10 incher. Oh, you're not trying to catch redfish? Okay, here's a five pounder. Oh, look at all that tetanus in one board. Just looking at how that thing hurts. It was like, oh, just as you were starting to enjoy yourself. Nope. Straight back to making you suffer again. Oh my god. Yes. Haha. -ha. Uh oh. Ooh. 
quick, quick, quick. I need to get into here real quick. I think it's three's gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, sir. Get your face in there. Oh, sweet. Sabine River Special. Settle down. Go six pounds. Five fish here on day number one, six pounds, seven ounces. For Tim in 25th place yeah, currently. Yeah. Did I just beat Brandon? You beat Brandon Palmer by one ounce. Yes! Oh, yeah, he went six six. Yeah! <laughs> so according to Brandon, Matthew, you caught some eight pounders today. Somehow, I don't know. It's a very positive message. Some are buried in there. But six pounds, seven ounces is pretty good. Bro, I'll take it, man. I was just seeing crabs all week, so the fact that I was able to put five of them in the boat, you know, it makes me really happy. This, this place is, uh, I ran into a guy at the gas station, and um, he came up to me, and he's like, you know, I grew up here, and I, I, I was, I was uh, conflicted because I was like, you know, this place is really, it's brutal. Uh, and uh, he's like, you know what, it brings out the pro in you. And he's very, very right, because... This place makes you an incredible fisherman because of all the t diverse species that you have and also the different type of techniques that you have to go out there and catch them with. So as much as this place has been really tough, it's also a great way to sharpen the sword. So either way, in incredible show out, Orange. Thank you guys for showing up and supporting us because uh, you, you guys really make this whole thing happen. So much mahalos and appreciate all the support. Thank you to my girlfriend who came down to support me too. Mahalo, baby, and uh, yeah, see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. He's a lead series of rookie from Alabama. Give him a round of applause.